and it's called the related rows feature. If you look on the top example, there's a revenue option that's highlighted and there's no balance there. Um, so it could be some example where you're running this for your IT department where they don't generate any revenue and they just have expenses and you don't want that revenue to display when you run the report. To suppress that, what you do is utilize the related rows option inside of your row format here. What this is saying is take my row code revenue description of 100, relate it to row code 250. So if row code 250 has a zero balance, don't show me. So all that takes place, it's programmed into the software. All you need to know is that you need to relate it to which row code is gonna be a zero balance so that it knows to turn itself off. In this case, it's row code 250. Down at the bottom is the example after you run, a report, run the report with this function. You can see my revenue is gone. Here's an option we talked about a little bit, but you have the ability to suppress blank rows. So sometimes you might want them to show up, but then there might be one example inside there that you don't want to show. So we're displaying rows on the bottom here in the first one. And then in the second one, we, we actually are unchecking the display rows with no amount. So that's one way to get rid of them all. But if you wanna just show you want most of them to show, you just wanna get rid of one of them, you can come up here and utilize the print control in one line. And here we talked about this earlier in the, de uh, the basics demo. Uh, you wanna make sure that you get rid of any blank rows at the bottom. If you leave them on there, it will cause you to print a blank page in certain instances on your, on your printer. Just simply take your cursor, highlight the entire section, right click and choose delete. All right, a print control. Um, this allows you to, the ability to restrict which items are gonna show up. So on the, on this highlighted section, what it's doing is it's giving you the ability to choose whether or not you wanna show budget or actual columns. So period less than or equal to base when I run the report, if the period meets that criteria, it's going to show your actual data. And then on the right here, you can see there's my budget information. Uh, in that case, I wanna flip this to do period greater than equal to base. So if I run my report for period four, it's gonna show me four months of actual data and then continue on and show eight months of budget data. Looking at the bottom in the result there, you'll see that the highlighted section shows where it's actually switched over to using budgets. So they ran this report for January of 2011. It's showing my actuals first for one month and then continuing on with budget information. Pretty fancy stuff.